But if there is one thing that can and would bring down this government, it is hustling in immigration. I have heard that ministers are procuring visas for people. I've said pretty much every second cabinet, if you are doing so, I have no proof. If you, For God's sake, stop it. Stop it. That is what would cause the government to fall. It's as simple as that. This comment by Prime Minister Dean Barrow shows just what is at stake. There are credible reports that UDP ministers are involved in the immigration corruption. But if there is any evidence, the UDP administration would crumble. And it's against that backdrop that we introduced the team which is conducting the investigation in immigration. Meet the team. Minister of Immigration Godwin Hulse, CEO in the Ministry of Immigration Candelaria Saldivar, and Director of Immigration Maria Marin. Godwin Hulse is a UDP senator and a minister in the Barrow administration. He was sworn in on March 14, 2012. He was not elected and serves no constituency. His portfolio was given to him by Prime Minister Dean Barrow and it can be taken away by Prime Minister Dean Barrow. Appointed, not elected, he serves only at the whim of his boss, the Prime Minister. Godwin Hulse is the Minister of Immigration. He is heading the investigation into the Ministry of Immigration. Candelaria Saldivar is the Chief Executive Officer in the Ministry of Immigration. Four years ago, she was a mid-level public officer in the Ministry of Natural Resources. Today, she is a high-paid executive with the Barrow administration. Candelaria Saldivar is the sister of Minister of National Security, John Saldivar. She pulls in a salary of about $5,700 a month. Her allowances add up to $3,150 a month. So Saldivar makes about $8,850 every month. Her rise to fortune was tied to the success of the UDP in elections in 2008. Her fortune now is tied to the success of the UDP. The final member of the team is Director of Immigration Maria Marin. She was appointed to act in that post after former Director Ruth Main was arbitrarily transferred in late January 2013. Marin has close ties to a senior minister in the UDP from a Western constituency. One of her brothers heads the National Bank of Belize. Another brother is a partner in a multi-million dollar contract to build the grandstand at the Marion Jones complex. She serves at the whim of Prime Minister Dean Barrow. And remember what's at stake. If there is one thing that can and would bring down this government, it is hustling in immigration. I have heard that ministers are procuring visas for people. I've said pretty much every second cabinet, if you are doing so, I have no proof. If you, for God's sake, stop it. Stop it. That is what would cause the government to fall. Connections on top of connections. Political, personal, and economic ties that bind. And this is the team investigating corruption at the Ministry of Immigration. The call from organizations and individuals countrywide for an impartial, independent inquiry and investigation continues. Mike Rodon for News 5.